You um, um best on that ten still, yeah? Yeah. I'll take it, go. One or two? No, just just him on the right, please. Lovely, thank you. Thanks, mate. Un untested, I'm presuming. Yeah. Untested, I'm presuming. Well, it works, but I haven't done it where the leads are. And obviously, went over the years. Yeah. Thank you. Nice one, Tom. No worries, mate. Thank you're featuring you're featuring my video later you now. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll make it. I'll make it out to everyone. I, I, I'm, I, I, you know, I, I, I do. I, sharing I is caring. <laughs> I, I had a Cheers, buddy. Nice one. Thank you. How much are the games, mate? Uh, the game is £10. Each? No. Oh, five each? Yes. Five pound each, yeah? Okay. Can you do eight for the two? Uh, yes. Yeah? Lovely, cheers bro. Yeah, she was very jammy. That one. 
How much you got on that? That one pound for that one extra big case as well. One a pound, oh, yeah. 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 Bloody thing. Have the case as well. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Yeah, I'll take that. What do you want? Uh, five pounds, I think. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. Uh, yeah, it rings very loudly. But Sorry, can I get that then? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, a bit, it's a bit loose, isn't it? Cheers, buddy, thank you. Is that just the case? Is that, is that, is that, no, it, it, it did work last time I used last time. What is going on, car boot sale cats? Well, that was dark, wet. My trainers are absolutely ruined. Um, I'm actually barefoot now in the car. Well, I've got socks on, but I took them off, put them in a carrier bag and um, and drove home with just my socks on. Um, yeah, guys, oh, I don't really know what to say. It was uh, it was chaotic there this morning. I picked up a few bits. You guys would have seen that. Um, total spend today, £20. Nothing great, nothing super great. You would have seen that I passed on a... Um, uh, a Game Boy, a Game Boy Color, and some Tomb Raider games. I, it would the battery compartment was all corroded. I didn't. It's not that I didn't really want. It, it wasn't that expensive. He wanted a fiver for it, but I passed, and um, I let a guy I know, Dan, take them. You would have seen that in the video as well. Um, so you know, sharing is caring, and all that, as they say. But yeah, I picked up a few bits today, guys. So a uh, couple of. Nintendo games, um, a CD, uh, a CD player, and a, a carded figure. So I'm going to just turn the camera around now, guys. Um, so as you can see, I picked up first. My first item of the day was this. I've actually already got this. This is a Disney Store um, Diamond Select Venom figure. I don't know if these are still in the stores. I haven't seen them recently. Um, this is quite a new figure. But I looked on eBay, and I don't know why, but these seem to be selling for quite a lot of money so that's quite interesting um i can't remember what they retailed at they're usually on the back yeah 20 24 pound they retailed at so if i can sell it for that then yeah i've doubled my money happy days um i picked this up for a pound lost boys cd this soundtrack i've asked uh, my friend ken if he wants that these are a bit grubby um i'm gonna have to give these a clean as always, guys, with things like this, you take the risk of um, if they're working or not. But, I mean, you don't see NES games at, at the boot sale often. So, Spider-Man, Return of the Sinister Six, and Punch-Out. Um, yeah, not bad. Not a bad find there. And last but not least, if I can get this open, um, I picked this up for a pound, guys, because uh, CD players, portable CD players like Walkmans, are, um, are starting to sort of creep up in value. Let me try and get it out. But this one's a Panasonic one anyway. It came with a pair of Panasonic uh, headphones as well. But I looked online. And sorry, guys, one sec. Let me just, that's it. Um, and there we go. An SL SX270. Um, yeah, for a pound, guys. I mean, look, to be honest with you, even if it didn't work, it looks in really nice condition. But even if it didn't work, for a pound, I'm not gonna be overly bothered. Uh, but they generally they generally sell for sort of around twenty pound, roughly, give or take. So if I it's a decent little profit if I can sell that. Um, but yeah, overall, guys, not a, a great day. Um, I see a couple of guys I know there, Eduardo and Kev, who are big toy collectors. They didn't really find anything at all. So and they were there before me, so I was there at half six. So it don't look like I missed out on anything. The usual game guys rolling around everywhere like lunatics, picking everything up. That was why it was quite nice to find the uh, two NES games. You would have seen the guy had a NES as well. Didn't ask him how much it was. Didn't have any wires. It was it was in really bad condition. And he also had a Mega Drive. I didn't ask about that either. Consoles. I'll be honest with you guys. It's too too risky. Too risky to buy. Um, you know, whether it's a 10 or 15 pound or whatever they're asking for, I find it a lot of the time at consoles, and that's why I passed on the Game Boy. You get them back sometimes, they don't work with the games. 
they usually stand the test of time, like the Mega Drive, the NES, the Super Nintendo games. That's why I'm hoping that Punch Out and Spider Man will both work, shouldn't have any issues. Uh, I looked online, they're both the carts of them are roughly going for sort of anywhere between 12 and 18 pounds each, so not bad. Um, on them, I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I've got a retro on five, so I might just keep them for the minute. I'm in no rush to sell them. So, yeah, that was it, guys. Pretty quiet, but at least I found a few bits. It's still nice to find bits, but that one now, I believe, is the last one of the season. So, um, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do now for the next couple of months because, uh, you know, I like going out there and hunting on a Sunday. So, but this time next week, I will be in Kane, Co at Kane County. So, uh, on Tuesday, I'm going to Chicago for a week. So, I'll be out there hunting for the toys. And on Sunday, next Sunday, is obviously the Kane County Toy Show. I went there in April. I went there in October last year. So I've been to the last two. Um, I'm making a, a consistent thing of this, to be honest with you, with uh, Chicago. One of my, well, probably, yeah, my favourite place to visit, to be honest with you. I really, really like it. So I ain't going to be putting any videos out um, until at least I return, unless I, do, unless I decide to do some sort of live stream from over there, potentially. Um, but yeah, guys, as always, apologies, the videos are not coming out thick and fast. I know the patience with with viewers is, is, is short and there's a lot of other YouTubers out there that are putting out content every week, but I just ain't getting time. Um, I just, uh, I just finished my job on Friday um, and I'm starting with a new company when I come back from America. So I've had all that to deal with on top of getting ready for America so there's quite a lot going on. I ain't really getting too much time to film. Um, but it was nice to just get out for a couple of hours this morning and and get to the car boot and, and to find a few bits and pieces. So guys, obviously, if you are watching me for the first time, don't forget to subscribe, give the video a like or dislike, whatever, whatever tickles your fancies. And guys, until the next video, which will probably be when I get back from America and it will probably be based on toy hunting in America, have a good Sunday. I'll see you all then.